good evening. I just can't stop playing beat em ups, can I? Because even though I'd say to everyone I'm not going to do any more beat em ups, uh, something else will come along. Tonight we've got Street Fighter Alpha 3 on the PlayStation. Big Street Fighter fan, as you know. Um, this was in, in the era when games started going 3D beat em ups like Tekken, like Soul Blade, Toshinden. There wasn't that many market for the, of the kind of the 2D ones, which I still really, really liked. But Street Fighter carried it on, and this was Street Fighter Alpha 3. Um, I used to play this all the time, so I thought, yeah, I'm going to breeze into it. But as you will find out, I will um, <laughs> run into a bit of difficulty, I would imagine, because in my previous trial run, I got absolutely owned. But anyway, sit back. Relax, I hope you enjoy. This is Street Fighter Alpha 3 on the PlayStation 1. Street Fighter Alpha 3. Also, the commentator goes. I was planning on doing the World Tour mode because I remember the World Tour mode being quite good when I was a kid, but I had a little bash in it earlier and I forgot how absolute bullshit it is. So, tonight I'm going to do arcade. So, as you can see, there's a but ton of characters in this. I mean, I never really played the Marvel vs. Capcom games. I know they had a lot of characters, but I mean, look, they've got Cody and Guy, or, uh, Cody and Guy should I say, from... Um, what's it called? Oh, Final Fight. But, oh, I'm always Cammy, aren't I? Cammy's like my go-to character. It used to be Ryu back in the original days, and then Super Street Fighter came out, and I was like, huh. And then I found a character that you could avoid fireballs. And as far as I was concerned, that 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 sold me. So, right, let's get on with it then. Killer B. She was the character I actually got. Um, I think like 13 ranked consecutive wins in Street Fighter 4 on um on Xbox. Which I don't know how I did it. I think I just got lucky, and then. And then when you had the matchmaking screen, that little UK flag next to mine, um, the Japanese flag come up, and I thought, oh, okay. Well, oh my god, they were ridiculous. I don't know if they're a national sport. I mean, to any of you out there who've actually, you know, played online against a Japanese player and won, you know, fair play to you. Oh, get off. I... You know I hate blocking. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I mean, what do you guys think of the introduction of like super moves? Do you reckon that was good? I mean, I, I don't mind them. I think I think it adds an extra element to it. But the problem I have with super moves is they should be, if you ask me, they should be unblockable. I don't think that someone should be able to just basically, if you have some, I mean, some move, you just hold your hand up in it. And it just negates it. Because that irritates me. And I'm really, really struggling to pull off the old cannon spike. Uh, what's it? Oh, the little drill she's got, uh, as well as the super. I am I'm kind, of, kind of struggling with that. It's just, I don't know. It feels right that you use a D pad for a beat em up. But I think I've just been spoiled by just using playing the Xbox for all this time. Uh, I've just forgotten how to use a dual shot properly. It wasn't too bad when I did Tekken and Soul Blow because it's always forward forward back back forward forward back back but Street Fighter is all about half crescents or full crescents and it's just I just find it tricky. Oh there's a cannon spike and a poison arrow. <laughs> okay, alright, I just ignored everything I just said. This is just practice, I want to take on World Tour mode then, isn't it? I might take on this to frickin' bullshit. I'm gonna put, I'll put up a tweet tonight, because it's just one of those things, it's sort of like, it's tough enough as it is, you don't need to just cheat. You know what I mean? You just, you, it's, it's, it's totally unnecessary because I mean I put some freeze frames off and my fist going straight through, it wasn't blocking. And and another pet peeve of mine is when the enemy characters run out of health and they carry on going and you're like, 
come on now. I've beaten you. Just just accept the defeat. But no. Never happens in your favour. Or well, if it does, it's once every 250 fights or something ludicrous like that. Jen, Chun Li's master. Ah, impressive beard. There's sort of Pai Mei going on. That's kind of what I started going for, but now I just don't look after my face. I do, I do like the old guard breakers, but I will say the guard gauges, again, are way too long in this. You can literally just absolutely batter someone and they just sit there just cowering the whole time. And it's, they only kind of get punished for it. I mean, the whole guard breaker thing is, is good, but you've got to stop allowing people guarding that much. Because they're not playing the game then, are they? You can argue that it's tactical, sure, you odd one, but the other thing I'm finding, and I found this in Tekken as well, is when they start guarding mid-combo. What is the point of a combo if you can just break out of it? Killer Instinct had the right idea, because you managed to do a guard breaker in the middle of it, oh sorry, a c c c combo breaker in the middle of it. Why is it with commentators and beat em up games? Because Soul Blade's commentator is hilarious. This commentator is a little enthusiastic. Oh, Sodom has got swords. I thought he had like Japanese Sai. Never mind. Oh, this is my cannon spike. Oh, crap. Okay, after what I just said about blocking, I'm, I'm going to shut up now about blocking for the rest of the game now. We all know that's not going to happen, but yeah. We all know. <laughs> Go for it, man! Oh! I'm not very good at connecting with that old cannon spike, am I? Ah! Oh, let's try to do the super. Let's try to show off. Punch off and fail. Oh well. Yeah, Sodom. I'm surprised Gamora never came into this, but yeah. Dalsim. Oh. For watchers of this channel know, I hate Dalsim. And for a start, as I said earlier, as I said earlier on my Twitter feed, this a game is a lot that flip it out to fall because as a child I generally thought yoga was a martial art. Ooh. You know, I for some bizarre reason, some some kid at my school actually uh, told me there were rubber men in like in, in, in India and I believed him and I don't know why. But going back to my point, <laughs> they should be unblockable super moves because they're a pain in the backside to pull off. I mean, fortunately, the um, the movement for the super moves is kind of the same, has always been the same in Street Fighter. In and, and um, when I was doing Garo Mark of the Wolves, uh, well, certainly Terry Bogard's um, one was. I thought that burning knuckle just traverses their moves. Oh, come on. That went on way longer than it should have done. And it gets up and we have a little chat. Oh, my head. It's good they do have actually a storyline in the arcade mode, because the arcade mode is usually just kind of a race to the finish. So, you know, it keeps a bit of interest going. Oh, Blanka. 
classic. I do like Blanca, but against fireball people, he just seems to be a bit short change like on the times. Don't worry, I'm, I'm, I'm alright with Blanca. Oops. Okay, that was good. Why is it saying cheap? What's a cheap win? win. Hey, every time you fight M Bloody Bison in World Tormo, that's a cheap win when he takes up, what, 70% of your health in one attack. really hard work of this aren't I but yeah no it's um oh I forgot what PlayStation thump felt like the first time I heard it it was just like oh come on now and then I got a PlayStation and I'm like yeah because the Mega Drive it was all on, it was all on one like disc whereas with PlayStation they're on like the separate buttons Cannon spike versus fireball. That was, that was really is the the thing that sort of pointed me towards cannon. Because when when you're because when you're a kid at school, you just had the kid who had street fight and you go around his house. You just get an absolute cavalcade of hadoukens. Oh come on now! I thought I had him there. Never mind. Oh, the way, Ken's got like a really, really long ponytail in this one. I think all the alpha ones he had this really long ponytail. Mind you, it stopped him looking like Garth and Wayne's World, didn't it? So, Adar. With his Jin Kazama haircut. I mean, I suppose the other thing I will say uh, with Street Fighter, there's a tinge of sadness that I have that as, as an Xbox owner, um, Street Fighter 5 decided to be PlayStation only. So, you know, I don't know why Capcom decided to marginalise half its fan base, but. Time that wrong. Oh, that was poor. Never mind. Never mind. I'll get it back. I'll get it back. I hit. What? How? Well, he kicked my foot, did he? Oh, no, snap off now. I've been having an absolute gripe with um, collision detection in this game all evening. But that'll do, I'll take that. That was tough, it's starting to get quite tough now. So. Vega. Oh, Vega. Oh, bloody Vega. With his bloody claw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're gonna have a little dialogue. Not that bothered, just trying to kick his ass. He's just. 
But I mean, in classic Street Fighter, who did who did everyone have more trouble with, Vega or Saga? Because everyone always said Vega, but I always found Saga was a bit more of a pig. Yeah, make sure. Well, Vega climbs up walls and stuff like that. I mean, original Street Fighter, if you timed your Dragon Punch, or if you go and use the Flash Kick, or I think Spinning Bird Kick also was quite effective. That that wasn't too bad. So as soon as he goes in the fence, he becomes predictable. Although I do find in later Street Fighters, Vega's incredibly unpredictable, especially when he's got moves like that. What? Ah. Oh. Although trying to predict him is another. Oh, I seem very good at completely missing him at the moment. Or not. I'm <laughs> to be dominated. But no. To be fair, Baker's a decent character actually in this. In fact, all, all, all the characters in Street Fighter. Even the ones in Super. Okay, maybe T Hawk. Never been a fan of T Hawk. Fei Long's good, I like Fei Long. But again, he's just Bruce Lee, isn't he? So. What? How many? Oh. Oh, come on now. Oh, that does not matter. Then it's just twice the amount of people to hit. And it's second force all over again. I mean, how do you sort the who you're focusing all on? Try not to die. See what I mean by collision detection? Oh yeah. That's doing it with style. Son. Right. Is Bison going to be impossible like he's in World Tour mode? Because you may see me absolutely lose my shit very shortly against El Grande Cheeto. I mean, if a game is too hard, seriously game developers, do you seriously think people are going to carry on playing it if they can't be... Yeah, I, don't, I know I'm going to get bombarded with Dark Souls comments now, but I just... My logic is sort of like, you know, I, I've got a full-time job, I'm a parent, I don't always have time to just sit there and just play games. So, you know, if a game is too hard, I I will give up on it. I've always maintained, you know, I don't I don't Oh crapping. Oh look at that. That's just ridiculous. No, he can't block that! He's a Oh, Come on now. That was purely on the base of his completely overpowered move there. Just quit the... The thing is, he's nearly got his overpowered super again now. It just makes you think. I'm not having to go all quality assurance testers, but 
Didn't anyone play this game and go, hmm, it's a bit much. Don't you think you'd tone it down a bit? It's like when Grand Theft Auto first came out. And I think it's almost like the... Uh, sorry, GTA 5, I mean. What? That went through it. Just quit with the blocking. That's just ridiculous. I'm sorry. That's just completely unbalanced. Yeah, go on. Finish him off. Asshole. Yes, the answer is yes, he's as he's as much of a fucking cheat as he is in World Tour mode, so <sighs> God It's the block yeah, I know I know I said I wasn't gonna go mention blocking, but yeah I am, because this is ridiculous. Open for a hit and then immediately block. <laughs> this is ridiculous. And I'm loath to point out this isn't on a particularly hard difficulty just so I could get used to the controls. And when you're pulling off stunts like that, that's just ridiculous, isn't it? Seriously, you twat. Oh, come on now. That's again, I've kicked him, it's just gone straight through him. That's just, it's just silly. Oh, that should have done more damage. Oh, I just know he's going to do his bullshittery. Come on! And they say you play video games to relax. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, that's just insane. But that's uh, Street Fighter Alpha 3. Um, I'm not going to lie, I, I used to love this game, but I completely forgot how much it infuriates me. But. Uh, it's good to revisit things again and it's great to have the uh, PlayStation back online again. So there was a quick little video for you all on uh, Street Fighter Alpha 3. It's significantly more difficult than I remember. Maybe I'm out of practice or maybe I just, you know, I'm not as quick as I used to be or play as many games as I used to. But um, if you've come this far, as always, thank you very much for choosing to spend some time with me. Uh, thank you for continuing to support the channel and uh, please check out my other videos and if you like what I'm doing please go and hit the subscribe button but I think that's all for me tonight I think I've lost enough of my temper for one evening um, I'm going to uh, call it a night there thanks again, have a good night, cheers